This is the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 from 2019. It's a two-in-one device and it's a tablet and a laptop at the same time. But how good is it in 2023? Let's start with the price. You can find them for around 4 to 600 euros and it really depends on the price because of the condition but also because it has a lot of different models. So you have an i3 model, an i5, an i7 and also with different RAM and storage options. So you can get an i3 with 4GB of RAM or you can go all the way up to an i7 with 16GB of RAM. So most of them have different specs, but I found one with the i5 10th generation, 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. The graphics are the internal Intel Iris graphics, which is definitely not good for gaming, uh, but this device isn't meant for gaming. The build of the surface is really nice. It has glass on the front and on the sides and the back it has magnesium. There are two different color options, the black one and the silver one. The black one really is a fingerprint magnet. It picks up fingerprints really easily and it also scratches really easily. I already have some scratches on mine and the paint is actually starting to wear off on the corners. But it feels really nice and really well built. Uh, and I don't think it will break easily, but I definitely recommend you carry it in a case and not with just the type cover because on my previous service I actually broke the glass and now it's a small hairline crack through the display. It has a power and the volume button on the top. I really like them and they work pretty well. Here on the left side you can see it has a headphone jack and also a thing to open the kickstand. On the right you can see another small gap to open the kickstand, the Surface Connect port and with the Connect port you can charge the device and it's magnetic which is really nice. But it's not only used for charging, you can also hook up a dock to connect multiple monitors. We also have a normal USB port for mice or to plug in a USB stick and also a USB-C port. The USB-C can also be used for charging and this is the first Surface Pro that has a USB-C port. It also has a built-in kickstand and that is really nice and it will let you adjust to almost every single angle that you want. And it also snaps back really nicely. Also here on the bottom you can see the pins to connect the type cover. You can just quickly snap it on. I know that my type cover looks kind of ugly but that's because I bought it used. You can get the keyboard in a normal position or you can move it a little bit up if you want. And now with the keyboard attached you have a fully functioning laptop with a touch screen on it which is really nice. The keyboard is extremely thin and it actually types really nice. I like the way how it feels and the trackpad is also decent. However, it looks like if you use this white cover a lot, it will get dirty, which doesn't look very nice. And you can see that there is a bit of a flex, but it's not terrible. And it also has backlighting and you can't really see it that well because I have a large light. But if I turn it off, you can see that the keyboard lights up. And this is really nice if you are going to type in the dark. The keyboard isn't included when you buy it brand new. But most of the times when you buy it used, you find one with the type cover. And also one thing to consider is that it doesn't have a number pad. Some people really like it, I don't mind it, I don't use it. The battery life is decent on my model. It isn't extremely good, I can get a few hours out of it. And it's working fine when browsing the internet, but it's not the best. And of course if you buy it used, it also depends on how much the device has been used. So you might get one with a really good battery, but there's also a chance that you get one that doesn't have a good battery at all. The screen looks really nice and it can also get pretty bright. It isn't extremely bright and not the best for outdoors, but indoors it's perfectly fine. I really like the colors and it might not be the co most color accurate, but it's still a really nice display. You might see these big bezels and think like, oh, that looks ugly, but you have something to hold on to. And also when you are doing stuff on your tablet, you are focused on doing things and not focused on these bezels. However, I've noticed that the oleophobic coating isn't that good and it gets fingerprints really easily and that is just disappointing. So you will get fingerprints on it pretty quickly. Of course, there is a chance that it's just my mold. And it is a touchscreen, of course, which is really nice. I really like to have a touchscreen because it makes things so much easier sometimes. The speakers are decent, not amazing, but uh, definitely fine. And I also like that they are stereo and firing towards you. Most laptops have a speaker on the bottom at the keyboard. These two actually go from the front. For unlocking methods, you can use a pin code, but you can also use Windows Hello with the face recognition camera. 
my camera actually has some dust in it and it got kind of damaged but the windows hello actually still works pretty good so when i lock it and i want to log in it's unlocked so it's actually really fast microsoft also has a type cover with a fingerprint sensor on it but i don't know why you would want that because the face unlock also works amazingly well it's just fast and it works so the hinge is right here and you can see that it has a lot of angles one thing that I did notice is that I sometimes want to put the laptop a little bit lower at an angle and I can't put it any lower than this. So if I want to get this as an angle or this, it isn't possible. The hinge has a lot of positions and it will stay at where you leave it. But you can still quickly detach it and use it like a normal tablet. And that is so nice to just get a full Windows experience on a tablet. So I can run all the software I want. Of course, the unique feature of this device is that it's a two-in-one, so you can use it like a normal tablet, but you can also quickly set it down without buying a case because of the kickstand. You can also quickly attach the keyboard without a lot of effort, and it just clicks, and now you have a normal laptop. With this design, there are, of course, some trade-offs, because that means they have to pack everything in this small device, and the surface is also more expensive than some other laptops because of its 2-in-1 form factor. Back camera is really good for a laptop, decent for a tablet but nothing amazing. Good for quickly taking a photo of some notes or whatever. But the front webcam is definitely better than the average webcam on laptops. Most of them kind of suck, but this one is actually decent. And the microphone has some kind of noise cancelling technology which sucks, but I turned it off in the settings and then it sounds a little bit better. So, how's the performance of this thing? I would say it is really good for most things. I would definitely recommend to stay away from the i3 4GB model, because 4GB of RAM isn't a lot these days. And if you are running multiple tabs of Chrome or having multiple applications open, then the 4GB is really limiting. And the i3 and i5 models don't have any fans inside, so it is really quiet, you don't hear anything and that is something that I really really like. Even when video editing, which this device isn't meant to do video editing, but even if you try to do it on there, it still works and it's actually pretty decent. I was really surprised with uh, video editing. I'm going to edit the video of the Surface Pro 7 on this device because I was really surprised that it was working pretty fast. Of course the video editing software that I use it doesn't really demand really good processing power so keep that in mind. I really like the form factor but it also sometimes gets a little bit hot which you don't notice at all because the components are in the back and not actually in the keyboard but if you are using it as a tablet you might notice it gets a little bit warm. I still think this is an amazing device even in 2023. It's really compact, lightweight, decent battery life, two-in-one form factor so you can quickly use it as a tablet or as a laptop. It still has a normal USB port and a headphone jack unlike the newer Surface Pro 9. The prices aren't too expensive used and overall I just really like this thing. If you want the two-in-one form factor I would say this is one of the best options out there. Also if you want to see more videos like this make sure to hit the subscribe button.